You guys, I'm here with Daniel, who's a sand sculptor. How long did this piece take you, Daniel? Um, I started around 10 o'clock this morning. Really? Yeah, I compacted it yesterday, so I prepared the sand yeah. yesterday, and then I um, started carving just this morning. How did you bring it over, like, how did you bring over all the sand? Um, it was just dumped by a truck just here on the side, and I compacted the sand. Into, How do you do that? Really? I use kind of things like cake tins, oh, and okay. I just put them on. I compact sand in layer by layer, Great. and then adding on more higher and higher ones up the top. So Fantastic. until I have a big block of sand that I take away the plastic, so I have a big block of sand there. Yeah. Now the thing about these sand sculptures is, I've never seen them when they're halfway. I only no. see them when they're finished. Yeah, that's true. Well, so they, I'm that's skeptical. Yeah, it's because it's so quick to do. That's they, they done within yeah. a, a day or two. So. I mean, a lot of the ones that you'd see on the streets in yeah. Dublin, like the guys, they kind of arrive very early in the morning <laughs> yeah. and they do the dog. I think that's what it is, yeah. <laughs> so they, uh, but I think there's kind of a, I think there's one guy who taught all of them how to do the dog. Oh, of course. But I think that's all he taught them how to do. So yeah. it's continually the same one. How but long have you been doing this for? Sand sculpture? Yeah. Um, around 20 years. And it's your, it's your day job, is it? It's my job, yeah. I mean, during the summer months I do sand, and then winter I do ice and snow. Oh, yeah. yeah, obviously. So, Which always materials. Yeah. Sorry, materials that don't last forever, that's kind of my, my thing. During the autumn he uses leaves <laughs> and mold. <laughs> that's true. I make films. Which also kind of are ephemeral in a way, unless you're watching them. Is, does this woman have a name? Um, no, not really. I'm kind of really... I'm just making it up really as I go along. I want oh. to experiment the idea of um, wind. Um, a lot of the other sculptures you see around here are kind of pieces from uh, wind turbines. Yeah. So I was kind of wanting to just just feed off that. Yeah. And I knew I wanted to create just a character because it's a family event and I think I didn't want to go too highbrow with yeah. the sculpture. So I wanted something a bit more that people might understand on a face value. So what are you going to do now tonight when you're going to bed? Going to Pray. Her up? Pray. <laughs> no. Come tomorrow, she's gonna have no head. <laughs> I, I think people will hopefully respect it, and uh, that's why I'm kind of leaving certain areas that ho um, I didn't want to do the very dangerous. Over? No, no, no. I mean, it's, it will stand up pretty well to the rain. Um, if yeah, someone wants to break it, to they can break. It. I know. Well, hopefully there'll be security around keeping an eye. But I hope that people in the festival will all just have such a good time. Well, they'll, they won't kind of think this is. Look. Yeah. I mean, when it's finished, I can't. I, I'd like to see it finished before it gets yeah. destroyed. But I always kind of think of a plan B. Yeah. And so if, if something happens tonight, then I'll just come in here and I'll do something else tomorrow. Anyway, Daniel, good talking to you. Nice check. Thanks a million. All right. I'll just have a look.